Hey, this is Chandra with a God Said Disrupt Fed message for you guys today. Let us start in prayer so we may invite Holy Spirit in to lead us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus, that you would be with us. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding and leading my words today. Thank you for coming into the room with us and teaching us and leading us so that we may grow in in what we have been called to do father we exalt you we lift our hands to you and praise your graciousness we praise your glory we praise your goodness in the mighty name of jesus we thank you that our fleshes are turned down so that we may receive your word in this hour and that all the presence and all the power that you want us to have father resides in this word we receive it and that it may come into the spirit for those who need it the most in jesus mighty name we pray amen so if you are new to my channel welcome thank you for joining us today thank you for coming aboard and if you are a returner thank you for subscribing and commenting and liking and sharing and i thank you guys that you would be with me today as i lead um in this message that was provided to me so we'll get the housekeeping things out of the way first so that you'll have your um, definitions and know how to track for your studies we'll start there this word came to me on 421 so hebrews 421 means through the idea of invocation to be well to lament god said lament and as i looked at lament and the act of hailing in an assistance and so joel 1 8 lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth so i looked at invocation and that means invoking someone or something for an assistance as an authority greek 421 drills down to two, greek 2487 that means to track out of untraceable past finding out unsearchable ephesians 3 8 unto me who am less than the least of all saints is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles for the unsearchable riches of Christ. We know that if we call out to the Lord and ask him for understanding and ask him for wisdom and knowledge, he will teach us the unsearchable things. Yes. And so Greek 2487 means to arrive, to step, to step to track first peter 121 is your scripture for that so god brought this forth to me around 7 43 in the morning and it is a, a dream that i had of a young boy in lions and so 7 43 drilled itself down as a greek word um from 757 to 732 as chief angel archangel first thessalonians 4 16 says for the lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with a voice of archangel with the trumpet of god and the dead in christ will rise first and then jude 1 9 says yet michael the archangel in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses dare not bring against him a re reviling accusation but said the Lord rebuke you Greek 757 to be um, in a political power rank or a ranking means reign rule over and then the drill down from that um, original word means to bring tidings a messenger especially by an angel so this dream that i had it was like a um a movie reel like it like a movie reel was going up is what i saw like the you know the old school film movie film tape but it was um in um not in high definition color it was like a monochromatic color like a gold goldish bronzes color and it was um it, it moved the scene kind of moves fast so it was like the reel was being pulled and every time it did that it like gave me snippets right but the cool thing about it was is, is that it was uh it sort of reminded me of like the jungle book if you've ever seen that cartoon or you know for are familiar with the jungle book it had a young boy who was running through the forest and the scene was changing very quickly as the reel moves right so it's almost like a flip book happening but it was a reel i could clearly see like the borders of the tape if that makes sense and so 
um, that was a, a pretty cool way to receive it. And then it shows him um, running through the forest or running through the woods of some sort. And there is, uh, at first he's being chased by a lion and then he is fighting, turning to fight the lion. And as he's doing that in the bushes, there is a like snake, I see snake eyes. And then from the snake eyes, above the snake eyes become another, like a huge lion head and a flash of light and then the the little boy falls back he like falls down and when he does that when he kind of like catches himself in the shock of falling that's when the light flashed and then he looks over and the lion is dead right and so i woke up and i was like okay Holy Spirit, I need, <laughs> i'm gonna need a little help a little context as to what that means the boy transformed throughout this scene in each scene he went from a fresh-faced young kid with no facial hair with short hair he went to long hair with with facial hair to then shorter hair with um with a shortcut with facial hair and so god said that he came into his power in each scene, running through the forest as he was doing that. And so he was being chased, um, and then his he turned to become the chaser after the after lions, after a lion was trying to snatch, grab, and claw um, at these dim lights. And Holy Spirit that said that those dim lights are lambs and sheep. And so then in that bright massive light that i saw that was the holy spirit that was the power of god coming coming forth coming forth to help him in that time and so um the the bright light um, as he covers his face and then peeks to see that the lion is dead god said your real plumb line is a royal covenant from david from daniel and from jesus god said yesterday and today you are the young boy you are the champion fighting beasts and conquering them but you are being watched by a satanic presence and that's why we saw the snake in the bush that that can attack you silently or sneakily most likely close family family or friend that disapproves of your decisions this cunning snake in your life you must cut ties with people including this person that's not producing fruit i am the great lion of judah god said protecting you from being attacked without warning they add nothing but dead memories to you their season is over it is your time to fight and win god said they fear you because of me i will not allow them to come over you i will not allow them to take over you during this time i will not allow them to come out of their hiding places roar up with loud pompous voices to shun you or to deny my power in you i will not allow their exploitation and abuse over you and your allegiance to the old packs and covenants is now done their manipulations are over god said use your sling of disarming exterior looks and poise to use those perfect five smooth stone rocks that i gave you just as the five smooth stones that david had in his pouch represented in his truth his self and his heart i command you to bring forth your faith your trust, your courage, your obedience, and your praise to me alone as the one true God, the one true Lord of all. God said, you'll be renewed praying as David did in Psalms 55, 17, and fortified with praise as David guides you in Psalms 119, 164. Stay faithful to me and with no fault. God said, I will defend you against them as I shut them down like defeated lions. I am always 10 toes down to bring you the necessary power, the unexpected force that you need. You may look disarming, but you will be a deadly power force against all idolatry, sin, false living, egos, pride, and all things that cross your path. That ish they represent is never going to gain authority over my kingdom and bring false lies to reign. Those lies are powerless lions. 
and they will perish. God said, as my plan reveals Daniel 16 through 22, Daniel prayed in defiance of King Darius's decree, right? And in him being thrown into the den of lions was good for me to show forth my glorious power and his righteous habits of prayer, surrender, and devotion. God said, did I not protect young Daniel in the lion's den? See Daniel 6.22, y'all. I sent my angel to shut the lion's mouth. Trust, they will not overcome you as you have no fault. God said, you are covered and protected in the physical by my chief angel, Michael. Archangel Michael, y'all, he leads all angels in, in battle. He is assigned to you, to you and your platform and your ministry. God said, because you will do great and mighty works for my body, you will receive my first in rank because you are first in rank to bring forth the multitudes across all borders. There are no boundaries for your works in your territory. God said, where I send you, he goes. God said, trust, you are protected. You should not fear anything because courageousness is needed. And in your being courageous, be certain that protection is always with you. Recall when my young Jesus, he stood for me, teaching boldly in the temples and in the courts. And then my power showed forth in him as he traveled and went through the valleys in the seaside to reveal the lion lurking in 1 Peter 5, 8, y'all. He took down this beast of death for you. So Chief Angel was with him too. As he rolled away the stone, I will cover you justly. I am your light on dark, untrodden paths. I am your lion protector. God said, when you stand before the multitudes or when your tears stream down your face in holy reverence of me in secret place, I will always answer. I am always with you. Confident you should be. Pray as David did Psalms 17, 12 and 14. As I said, teach everyone and everywhere my sheep roam. Everywhere, y'all. So everywhere his sheep roam, you bring the good news and the gospel to them. My Lord Angel, he says, is your cover. He is your armor bearer. Call out to me and I will send him always. He will stand before you and protect you from Satan as you will stand with others and do kill shot orders for all demonic powers and principalities in the spirit that I send you to. You will gather and equip and retrieve the lost souls. You God said, you will become the young lion amongst flocks of sheep that roam amidst the beasts of the forest as Micah 5, 8. So fear not, fight fierce, you will be victorious. God said, tomorrow you will rise to be a lion of Judah as David, Daniel, and Jesus did. You are ready. God said, you will raise up quickly to become a mighty first leader in the converting of souls, a multitude of souls, he says. I'm hearing multitude of souls as a slayer of lions and giants and bears, y'all. Oh my, my Lord, bless his holy name. Yes, like never before and evermore in the name of Jesus. We call forth his power. We call forth his truth. We call forth his word that he is coming. He will return. He will slay all demons. He will judge the living and the dead. And that two groups, has another subset of two and two and two it in the name of Jesus. So you may be walking righteous with the Lord, but then those who are Christian but not doing their job, you will be judged accordingly. You will be judged as though you're not even in the life, in the works of what he has given you, right? And then those who are dead, you are you may be walking around with not knowing who God is or not, or even knowing him, but denying him. Then you are in that dead category. And then those who have been laid to rest will be judged accordingly, whether they gave their life to Christ before they died or whether they did not, and they will be judged as the dead. So you have to make sure that you understand the context of I'm a Christian and I'm doing the work of the Lord. I'm a Christian and I'm not doing the work of the Lord. I am dead in the soul because my body has been laid to rest. And then I am walking around alive, but I'm not claiming Christ. I am dead in the name of Jesus. Those four categories, he's raising up two levels. So it's saying he's raising up the living and the dead. You have to understand that they're 
um, subcategories under the two, right? Amen. Amen. Yes, it's so good. So all of this, that dream of this young boy running through this forest and as he's running through the forest, he's literally like growing up in real time, right? It's like faces change, his face changes, his hair changes in the window. God is saying that you are going through a transformation season that people are not going to recognize you from being the young, immature person that you once were, where your your man child was in control to becoming the man that he has ordained for you to be. And so this this word is for our kingdom men. This word is for those who are fighting in the spirit right now, fighting into the physical, trying to figure out what is this life transformation that I'm having to go through. God said that his archangel Michael is protecting you and because you have him assigned to you that means that the work that you do brings forth multitudes of people most multitudes of souls will be saved from the work that you do throughout your transformation and when you are fully in your anointing fully in your power amen that's so good and so then you also um if you look at the thought that when I'm in, into these places where you've got to have uh, in a, 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 a supernatural level of power, you bring the faith, you bring the surrendered heart and you bring the prayer, the prayer warrior. And the Lord is going to bring forth the angels and his fight. He's going to bring forth the power to slay the demons and slay the, 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 the lions in these scenarios. As you travel, he says that your, your work will go across borders. So that means that your territory is global this means that you will be moving going about global you may have a home base but you will be traveling out to save multitudes of souls right which is phenomenal because that means that your work is needed but it starts with your prayer life it starts with you praying in um in sync of what the lord is saying so being mindful that we have eight watchmen prayer stations eight watchmen shifts um, and I'll talk about that in another um, in another message. But basically, we have eight designated times where we should be praying um, through throughout the day, so that we don't miss a shift of being ready and being in revelation, being um, in, in power, and being in in sync with what the Lord has. And then whatever the enemy is planning, the Lord is providing. Holy Spirit is giving us real time communications on how to combat it, how to beat it, how to fight it in the spirit. So we're constantly warring throughout the day, but that means that we are saving a multitude of souls, y'all. The sin is real and we know that because of the lives that we previously led, right? So I want you to um, take this back to Holy Spirit, take this into the Spirit and take and test it. Test this in the Spirit because your Father is so very adamant that we are in prayer and that we are doing it consistently, but that we are being courageous with the works that we do um, when He puts us in assignment and then He covers us. He covers all that you do. And for those who this message is for, you are being covered by Chief Archangel Michael. That means that you are at a high spiritual level. You're, you're, you may have started low, but now you're being raised to a high level. You're being raised forth, right? Oh, that's so good. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that you would bring forth a word with power. You would bring forth a word of encouragement, that you would bring forth graces to us, that your grace would be over us. That the word would be with us, that the word would be over us, and that we wouldn't be shy about what we do, that we we wouldn't be shy about who we are, that we would bring forth his power when he calls us to do so. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now, whew, Lord, thank you, Jesus. God said, go disrupt some ish for his glory, y'all. Bye.